To find a job as a designer, you have to present your work in such a way that your potential clients are going to understand. You have to talk directly to them and use as few words they will not understand and simply speak in the language they will. So you have to improve the presentations you have and how do you present your work to your potential clients. So that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's video we are going to talk about 5 different tips to improve your presentation and before we jump into today's video make sure to check out my membership, link is going to be down in the description below. Membership contains all of my courses, digital design products, prior access to the Facebook group, practice files for my YouTube videos and much more so if you're interested in content like that once again make sure to check it out, link is going to be down in the description below. So the first tip I can give you is to present a problem. You have to solve a problem as a designer so your first step should be presenting that problem so your potential clients and viewers can understand what was the problem that you solved as a designer on this particular project. Present it in such a way that your clients will understand speaking their language, not your language. So use as few technical terms as possible. For example, if you work with JavaScript, don't mention it too much. You can, um, of course, mention it because you worked with it, you used it. Or if you used XD and you used, I don't know, component states, for example, you can tell them, but don't say it too much because it's not important. What's important is the problem that you solved. So make sure to explain what was the problem. Where did you start? What was the brief? How did you approach that problem? Uh, did you set with your clients and then through meetings you understood what exactly the problem was and what was your way to tackling that problem? So explain that but in a way that your potential clients are going to understand. So that's going to improve the likability of them hiring you to solve their problems as well. Next up is show your process. You have to show them your process and it's not just enough to show the finished result and say, okay, this is my finished result. This is how the design looks like at the end. Yes, everybody wants to see that, but also everybody wants to see the process as to how did you arrive to that finished project and that conclusion of your project. I want to see your process. So for example, if you're working with paper wireframes, maybe you should snap a picture or two of yourself working on those paper wireframes. You don't have to be in the shot, just your hands can be in the shot and the pen while you're drawing those paper wireframes, for example. Or if you're working as a part of the team, maybe you guys did some exploration, simply snap a picture of that to show in your presentation because it really helps to tell a story as to how did you arrive to that conclusion of this project and how did you arrive to that finished result. So you have to show your process especially for hiring managers because those hiring managers especially from big agencies know how those design uh, processes work and then once they see and understand what yours is it's much better uh, possibility they will hire you uh, for their next project or to work for them full time or something like that so make sure to show your process because it's not just enough to upload finished results of your design and say okay that's it but how did you arrive to that finished process i want to see that in your presentation Next tip is speak to your audience. First of all, you have to know who your audience is. Who are you talking to? Are you talking to future potential clients? Then make sure to speak in the language they will understand. Once again, we are going back to what I mentioned uh, at the beginning of this video. If you're using XD, for example, don't mention component states, don't mention 3D transforms and technical terms which are based on XD, which are not relevant to your client. Make sure to speak to your clients if they are the one who are you talking to. Make sure you're using terminology they will understand and make sure to form it in such a way so it's not boring. Make sure to um, for it to look like you're talking to a friend and not for it to look like you're, for example, writing a script and then reading a script and then you're simply posting that script inside of your presentation. Make sure to speak like you would with a friend, with a colleague or something like that. Of course, there is a tone involved. So if you're targeting bigger businesses, for example, Fortune 500 companies and stuff like that, of course, your language is going to be a bit different than if you're simply targeting a local shop, a pizzeria, bakery, or um, coffee shop or something like that. But the key thing here is make sure to know who are you talking to 
Who do you want to see this presentation? Do you want to get hired based on this presentation? Do you want to show it to your colleagues and peers so you can have bragging rights or you can simply expand your network of designers? Do you want to target developers? Do you want to target agencies? Do you want to target um, future clients? Who do you want to target? Once you know that, once you know who you want to talk to, then you can form the language you're going to use in your presentation in order to achieve just that. Next one is show the results. Don't just upload an image of your finished result and call it a day. Make sure to show it in such a way that it's interested, that it's engaging and that it clearly shows that you invest a lot of time and energy into showing your result. So don't just upload an image of a final design and that's it. Make sure to use 3D mockups, make sure to use 2D mockups, make sure to use video with transitions if you had any transitions of animations. Make sure to use images in such a way that they are going to stand out from the background nicely make sure to break them in sections if they are longer for example you have a website design with a landing page which is quite long make sure to break that landing page in sections make sure to integrate it in such a way so it's uh, just a little bit more interesting and appealing to your potential viewers or your potential employers make sure to show that you invested a lot of time into presenting your design to the world because that's going to clearly show especially if you're targeting people who are hiring designers all the time they are going to be the first ones to notice that and they are going to be the first ones to hire you or to talk to you at least because they are going to see that you invested a lot of time and energy into this presentation into forming this presentation into telling your story which is extremely important to them and they are going to hire you no matter what um, your design actually looks like because you can always fix that but it's much more difficult to form a fantastic presentation and to show that because presentation is half of the sale so you're selling your services you're selling yourself as a designer and presentation is going to be halfway through to that finished result which is you getting another job getting hired or getting status symbol if you want to call it that inside of the design industry and uh, next to your design peers so no matter who are you targeting make sure to explore these presentations make sure to explore these elements and make sure to uh, take a look on something like behance for example on these well-known examples what they are doing and make sure to try and copy some of those elements and integrate them into your presentations and finally last tip is tell the time clients don't usually know what time it takes to for example create paper wireframes or to create those wireframes in XD or to create a design or to find images. Searching for images is especially long process if your clients don't have their own images. Uh, if you want to compare fonts or to create color combinations or stuff like that, clients don't really understand how much time it takes really to create all of those things and to compile them later into design which is usable for developers. So make sure to tell time in your presentations. For example, uh, in your copy about your research, make sure to tell the time, how long it took. It took me, for example, two weeks to con conduct this research, to find people who are going to answer all my questions, to find a perfect developer, to work with other designers. Make sure to tell the time because that's going to help you later with your future clients and it's going to repel all of, all of those tire kickers as they are known in the industry. So basically all of the people who are not willing to hire you they're just browsing they are just killing time because they are bored but they will not hire you either way make sure to show that because that's going to simply repel all of those people who are not really your ideal clients but just once again tire kickers and it's going to show to your ideal clients so they can factor in their budget they can factor in their deadlines and they can better understand how much time is it really involved in this design process and how much of my time should I invest in working with this designer on this project. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope you found value in it. If you did, make sure to press that like button. I upload new videos every single week right here on the channel about Adobe XD, design, passive income techniques and much more. So if you're interested in content like that, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.